for me. I am so excited to be giving you a treatment today. I know, I think you need it and I think there's something to be said about when we're constantly giving treatments for others. Healing is a wonderful thing but we do need to spend that time on ourselves as well and take that time to find that place within ourselves of self-love and care and that vulnerable place where we let others take care of us too and you're such a wonderful beautiful soul and taking care of other people and bringing them to that place that I hope with today's treatment I can try my best to give some of that back and give you a treatment that you really really deserve <laughs> Thank you, I'm crying. Oh, don't. It's been lovely spending time with you, and I feel like coming here and seeing you kind of do your craft. I learn so much as well, just about therapies in general and how to, to honestly treat others with kindness and respect. And you always have a talent for making such a relaxing atmosphere, like this room in general where you're doing all your lovely lovely head spa treatments now it's just this little cave of treasures and you don't ever want to leave so today let's use that healing space you've kind of crafted and let me treat you so we've had a little chat off camera about what I can do on you today and we've just been thinking about kind of incorporating some of your favourite ASMR triggers and I know you like it when there's kind of a voice there just to, to help you relax to a kind of calm and soothing guiding voice so I will try my best to kind of speak throughout the treatment your voice is beautiful thank you my goal here so I really hope it's helping and if you can tell I'm just kind of running my hands over your scalp as I'm working and it's because that kind of touch there that human touch can really help calm down the nervous system and I know you've had a busy busy day so just focusing in on that touch and letting it calm you just so that you're in the right space to receive the healing. I've got lots and lots prepared. I'm going to use some brushes on you. I know you like essential oils, so we'll, we'll go through a few of those. I can let you smell a few and choose which ones you want. And just also a little check over your scalp because you're lovely, lovely here and I think it's beautiful you look just like a mermaid <laughs> and I'm just gonna do some finger tapping this is really really good to get the blood flow to the scalp I'm doing a bit of kind of using all the osmosis I've had. And I love it. <laughs> it's, I think, my favourite part about treatments and holistic therapies is that the more you're receiving them, the more you're learning. And if you, you have to be careful. You shouldn't practice things on others that, that a qualified therapist needs to be doing. But... There are tiny things you can take and incorporate into your own life, into your own self-care that you don't need to be trained to do, like finger tapping for instance. That's great to just help the blood flow to the scalp and you can do that on yourself. And these little things that I do pick up from therapists, um, 
and just sort of sessions I've gone to, they are wonderful and it's, it's great to be able to, to also help you with yes. that. So another little thing, oh that's great, you've got some deep breaths there. Another little thing that does, I always find feels amazing, is tiny little hair tucks. So do, do let me know if it hurts at all. But again, this is just because of blood flow and at the start of the treatment, just to kind of wake up the senses. These tiny micro pulls can be really good to hone in the senses, all those sensations. It's really good for removing tension on the scalp oh. as well. So for me, it's in, in your head massage where you can do like hair popping. Yes, yes. And you've got a wonderfully healthy scalp. You've got lovely hair and it's in beautiful condition that I wouldn't be worried of hurting you. You've got absolutely no scratches, no scars. And I know you have dyed your hair, but it feels wonderfully silky smooth. So I can tell you take really good care of it. But that's just a good thing to check before doing these little pulling motions because we don't want to do that on an already compromised scalp because we risk kind of hurting the individual when what you're trying to do is healing. So hopefully that's kind of warmed you up for this relaxing treatment. But on our list of things that we're going to be covering today I think it might be nice to start with the essential oils because essential oils are wonderful for bringing your senses into the right place helping them relax and our minds can be busy busy places and sometimes we just need the sense of smell to kind of overpower those thoughts and bring us to the right place. So I've got a wonderful variety of essential oils here and we're just going to go through a few of them and see which one is kind of calling to you the most today. So I'm just going to pick a few. Okay so there's seven choices in total here because we've got the seven chakras and each of these wonderful, wonderful essential oils represents one of the chakras. So I thought it would be a really lovely exercise to kind of see which of these is calling to you the most. Just going to line them up beside you here so that they're easy to access. And obviously, with chakras, kind of alternative healing, you can take everything with a grain of salt. I'm not going to say something out of balance means something and so kind of give you a prophecy, but it is a lovely way of kind of giving a theme to the treatment. And I think it's just essential oils. No matter what marketing package they ha come under, they are a wonderful, wonderful tool that there is no denying they can have effect on relaxing you. And that's what I want to focus on here today. But also with the little added game of um, which of these chakras is calling to you the most. So I'm not going to tell you which is which. 
going to let you smell each in turn and you can give me a little idea of which one you like. So we've got our first one here. Can you smell that then? Don't be afraid to say if you don't like the smell of any of them. <laughs> okay, number two. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure this is my favourite. We'll see. No, we're close. I think it's the ylang ylang that's think making you think that, but it's mandarin patchouli oh and ylang ylang. Isn't it amazing with your eyes shut? Mm -hmm. how, you, how you perceive mm. and know things. I do that a lot with food. Mm. I I think when you've got your eyes shut, it's a completely different experience mm. with both smells and food. Mm. I do wonder though if that means lavender is calling out to you. I don't, I don't know if you can smell that. Right, I'm going to just give you a smell of the lavender one here and just see if that's what you're really needing. How's that? Mm. Okay. Right, so. That's the throat chakra. Mm. Interesting. Which is very strange because I am a thyroid disease. My goodness, yeah. So it must be calling in for me, isn't it? Because I haven't been feeling the best. Mm. Right, do you have any other scents? If you wanna be very kind of reading into it as well, there's that aspect of you being the client today, being able to speak, you've got your voice, you can say what you want, mm -hmm. and you've got your time for self-care. So I think that's very fitting mm -hmm. for the theme of this video. Very so. insightful of you, Mel. Oh, I'm <laughs> loving just what you are teaching me right now. I've got nothing to teach, mm -hmm. <laughs> just vibing. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna put the other ones back and then we'll focus on that throat chakra. Okay, so now we've got our aroma oil of choice. Just gonna apply some of this to my hands, just one drop. It's never good to go overboard with essential oils. Use it very sparingly because a little goes a long way. I invite you to take one deep breath in and one, two, three, and hold and let it out. Let all of that bad energy out with it, all of the stress of the day, anything you wish to release. And in again, and hold. And release. All of that bad energy going away. And in. And release. If you just want to think about setting an intention as well for your relaxation today, whether that is resting, using the opportunity to just simply doze off and fall asleep, that is completely your choice to do, whether that is almost having a meditative experience, just breathing that in there, that smells, and whether that is just simply enjoying the ASMR of the session. <laughs> just letting that smell waft over you. Letting all the bad stuff go. It's very easy 
for things to stick onto us and stay with us even if we think they don't. The energy of other people, the feelings of others, if we're caring so much for those around us, we can take on their feelings as baggage and that means we're good people, it's not a bad thing but you just have to sometimes let that go as well so that you can relax. I'm just going to do a bit of Ever after on the scalp there. Just put to my big oil so your lovely hair doesn't go into it. And I don't know about you, but that smell is absolutely lovely. It's divine. It is. It feels like that's what you really needed. Mm. Just some good old lavender. It feels very simple as well. It's yeah. Is it one of your favourites? Yes, I would say so. Yeah. Do you get to use lavender much in treatments or do people prefer kind of eucalyptus and the so menthols? I would say it's not a favourite for people, but mm. I feel that they kind of have a perception of lavender to be more strange because all of the benefits of lavender are absolutely amazing to me. Mm. So I guess I resonate with lavender. It's such a relaxing smell as well. It is. It's very, very good for kind of lulling us into that. It's almost like a lullaby state. It's mm -hmm. that state close to sleep, but not necessarily sleep. I think it's one of the powerhouses of the essential oils. Absolutely. Well, that's really nice that you're able to have that on you as well right now, then, if it's one of your favourites. There's definitely a link there between you and lavender. Mm. So just some gentle effleurage on the scalp. Very, very gentle. You never want to go too hard on the scalp because it's a very sensitive area. I've got a myriad of kind of pressure points right around the ear here. So it's always good to kind of focus around the ears if you do want to try and relax someone because it's a very sensitive area. It's very reactive. Very ASMR inducing in my you never want to be too strong. Sometimes it feels like you should, but it's almost the opposite. It's really good. I can hear those stable breaths in and out. I can really tell that since the start of the session, it has calmed. I think there's something to be said as well of being able to give a session like this to a friend and give them that healing. It's it's very rewarding for me as well, just to, it's like a bonding experience almost. That feeling of when we used to play with everyone's hair back in school, kind of treat our friends to a manicure. It's that same sort of giving that as ASMR grows, makes one hope that these sorts of treatments become more common on our friends and family. Just hearing how they're doing as well and checking in with one another. light pressure here on the top of the head. This sort of spider walking down the scalp. Again, very, very gentle. Some brushes, and I know you will really like your brushes. 
lashes folded in firmly to do some tracing mostly over the face, a bit of attention on the ears. Hopefully that will help you relax even more. Okay, so we've got some brushes here. I know you love to use these ones, they're kind of dual makeup brushes and it's wonderful that there's two of them because you can trace parallel on both sides and as someone that's had Kami do this on me it feels amazing almost it's quite hypnotic almost watching just back and forth back and forth around the face of attention to the ears as well. Can't forget the ears. Feels like two clouds floating over you. Focusing in on that happy place, wherever that may be. Letting the tingles wash over you. And coat you in a bubble where nothing bad can reach you. Sometimes I like to imagine cling film around my body and my skin and that cling film keeps away all the bad and in all the good that you're now thinking about. All these good thoughts, all these happy things, let them stay with you, let them, let them linger around your body, keep them with you always close and safe. finish the session, I'm going to use a jade comb just to bring the senses back to the scalp where we started, coming a full circle and the sounds of this are absolutely magical. cleansing sound. It's quite cooling, isn't it? Which is good at the end of the session. You might have been in quite a deep place, just quite numb. Yeah. It can often be good to have that difference in temperature. And especially at the end of the session, just to waken you up. We don't want to jolt you back to reality. We want to carefully and calmly introduce you back to the room, to the sights and sounds and smells. I've often found as well, I won't do it today, but Sometimes touching the legs and the feet at the end of a session can
can be quite grounding. Really, you've been spending so much time up here that you forget you're attached to the rest of your body when you're so relaxed. And this is kind of a similar thing of using that cooling sensation to awaken the senses again. Just some longer strokes there. There we go. You put the comb away. Okay, so I really, really hope this has been a nice, relaxing session for you. And thank you, thank you. It's been a pleasure being able to treat you as well. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.